Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today I'm on the flight deck of the aircraft carrier USS Yorktown at Patriots Point in Charleston, South Carolina. Yorktown, the other Essex-class carriers, and many other modern carriers have a very interesting feature that you might not think of. We all know that carriers have elevators for bombs, for torpedoes, for the aircraft. They're covered with elevators, uh, but Yorktown was specifically retrofitted with an escalator. So we're now inside the island. This doorway brings me stepping outside of the hull of the ship into a segment that was welded on uh, post-construction. And here is the escalator that Essex-class carriers have retrofitted and, and many other carriers have too. So, why? Now originally, the pilot's ready rooms uh, and quarters and all that stuff was right under the flight deck. This made tremendous sense. These guys get on all their equipment and uh, their G-suits and their oxygen and their life vests and everything else, and they've got all this weight and they're, they're all strapped in their parachutes and in a good parachute uh, harness, you shouldn't be able to stand up straight. And so they waddle out to their aircraft uh, just up one level. Now the problem was American carriers did not feature armored flight decks. So kamikaze hits and even bomb hits during World War II um, could kill large numbers of experienced pilots in their ready rooms and uh, birthing spaces. The solution was for Westinghouse to build an escalator, like you might see in a shopping mall, and then bolt it onto the outside of the uh, hall under the island and then you can move all of the pilot ready stuff below the armored hangar then from there they can get on all their equipment and ride the escalator up to the flight deck or back down after a mission with all of their battle rattle on so this feature is maintained even on to modern supercarriers i haven't been on all of them i can't say for sure that it is on all of them but um, it is on some more modern carriers than the Essex is. Now, Iowa-class battleships don't really have elevators or escalators, but if I was redesigning them, I would put one of those uh, airport, like, people movers, the escalator that you just stand on and goes straight, right down the middle of Broadway. Have you gotten to see an aircraft carrier escalator? There are currently five museum aircraft carriers in the United States. Midway out in San Diego, Yorktown right here in Charleston, Intrepid in New York City, Lexington in Corpus Christi, Texas, and Hornet in Alameda, California. So wherever you are in the country, uh, as long as you aren't in the middle, you've probably got an aircraft carrier within six or eight hours of where you are. Make sure you take your next uh, vacation at a city that has a museum ship like this one. There's a link in the description below to the Historic Naval Ships Association website, which has a map that shows you where these museum warships are located. But if you've ever gotten to see one of these on an aircraft carrier, active or a museum ship, let us know about it in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below to Patriot Point's donate page if you'd like to donate money to them to support their macro artifacts like the aircraft carrier USS Yorktown. Remember to tell them who sent you. You can support Battleship New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about our channel and our museum. Thanks for watching.